You all must know the professor from the Spanish Netflix series Money Heist. How he made plans to bring down the Bank of Spain were incredible. We also have a professor in our enterprise who plans to bring down, not the Bank of Spain, but the largest EV manufacturer, Tesla. And you might have already imagined who it is. Yes, it's the former Amazon CEO, Jeff Bezos. Well, do you want to know more about what he is doing? Stay tuned till the video. Welcome to Tesla Stock News. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update on the ups and downs of the stock prices of Tesla or anything related to the multi-talented, influential tech icon and billionaire, Elon Musk. Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos are the two richest men on the planet outright, but it would look like this planet isn't big enough for their wealth and ego as the stars have now become their playing field. The two billionaires own SpaceX and Blue Origin respectively, two companies that have initiatives of taking humanity into space as a means of tourism and who knows what beyond that. Musk has had his fair share of success with SpaceX, having already launched multiple rockets and manned missions into space. Also, Amazon is one of the world's most successful companies and has revolutionized two entirely different industries. But Musk, who surpassed Bezos in the rich list last year, used the opportunity to taunt his fellow space rocket forerunner, replying to the tweet with a second place medal emoji. But now Bezos has made strategies to take down Elon Musk with his companies Tesla and SpaceX. Firstly, in pursuit of SpaceX's Starlink project, Amazon has announced their Kuiper project. At the top of an Amazon press release, there's a strange image. It's a rocket marked with an American flag, and above that, Amazon's smiling logo, blasting off to the heavens. The company is officially taking its business to space. Amazon proclaimed Project Kuiper in the spring of 2019. It's believed to be a network of 3,236 satellites, which it plans to wield to provide high-speed internet anywhere around the world. Last year, the FCC, Federal Communications Commission, authorized the satellite launches. Amazon plans to invest more than $10 billion in Kuiper. Amazon is turning Kuiper into the antidote to remote work issues. Amazon recently announced that by the end of this year, a startup named ABL Space Systems would send two prototype satellites for Project Kuiper, the company's effort to build a low Earth orbit, or LEO, satellite constellation that can light internet connectivity down to Earth. Amazon says it will ultimately deploy 3,236 such satellites that will provide fast, affordable broadband to unserved and underserved communities around the world. It doesn't hurt that serving a space-based internet service provider could also help accumulate the company's cloud computing business, Amazon Web Services. And Amazon says that the satellites will work with Verizon to deliver LTE and 5G service to hard-to-reach places. High-speed satellite internet could be the next big thing in internet connectivity. It's a broadband internet service that uses radio waves to transmit the internet from an ISP hub to a satellite receiver dish. It's inexpensive and practical where terrestrial fixed and wireless transmissions aren't profitable. We've invented lots of new technology to meet our cost and performance targets for Project Kuiper. All of the systems are testing well in simulated and lab settings and will soon be ready to see how they perform in space, says Rajiv Badial, Vice President of Technology for Project Kuiper. There is no substitute for on-orbit testing, and we expect to learn a lot given the complexity and risk of operating in such a challenging environment. We can't wait to get started, he added. Still, in words of timelines, Project Kuiper is rather behind SpaceX's Starlink venture and the British Indian OneWeb venture. SpaceX has already enlisted a number of users for the Starlink service and has about 1,800 satellites already orbiting the Earth. Meanwhile, OneWeb's constellation is up to 358 satellites, and it plans to start service in Arctic regions as early as this winter. SpaceX's Starlink is an early ruler in this market, with more than 100,000 users in 14 countries. The users are contributing in the beta phase, with service priced at $99 per month. It's looking for coalitions in various regions to expand its satellite broadband service. Well, let's see how it works, although Bezos retains to end it here. He also aspires to whip the EV company Tesla with its robo-taxi. Amazon's self-driving vehicle company Zoox is taking the robes off of its first robo-taxi. Zoox, the Silicon Valley-based autonomous driving company bought by Amazon in the year 2020, is sustaining a review and reorganization of operations, policies, and plans to get ready to finally scale up a commercial robo-taxi service planned to launch first in Las Vegas, according to CEO Aisha Evans. A few months back, Zoox has debuted an electric, fully driverless vehicle that's built for ride-hailing. It's a carriage-style car, which means that passengers face each other and there's no space for a driver or passenger seat since there's no steering wheel. The latest phase we're entering in is, instead of a lot of splash around demo programs and things like that, 
we're really hunkered down to mature the company to match the business and commercial ambitions we have, Evan said. That means doing the hard work of preparing for scale, whether it's processes, whether it's methodologies, even in how we handle the organization and the people we bring in and the people who stay on. That's the journey we're on right now, she added. Zooks is in pursuit with heavily funded rivals including Alphabet's Waymo, General Motors' back Cruise, and Argo AI, supported by Ford and Volkswagen, to be among the first autonomous tech companies to prove that on-demand robotic vehicles can succeed and serve a highly profitable business. The robo-taxi has a few features that set it apart from rivals, like Alphabet's Waymo, GM's Cruise, Uber, and Tesla. It has bi-directional driving capabilities and four-wheel steering, which enables it to shift directions without the need to reverse and navigate in compact spaces. A formation of cameras, radar, and LiDAR sensors are mounted on all four corners of the car, eliminating typical blind spots and giving it a 270-degree field of perspective on the road. The car can travel up to 75 miles per hour and can run up to 16 hours on a single charge. It's also equipped with an airbag system on all four seats. Zoox has driving plans to assemble a vertically integrated taxi service with Zoox engineers designing a vehicle, self-driving software, and a ride-hailing network. Zoox has generated hundreds of millions of dollars over the last five years. A 2018 fundraising round valued the company at more than $3 billion. Still, the company has strived in the last couple of years. Zooks's founding CEO was pushed out in 2018, which is never a good sign for a startup that hasn't launched a product. Zooks also laid off about 100 workers, which are 10% of its workforce earlier in 2020. Tesla sued Zooks over trade secret larceny in March of last year, claiming that between November 2018 and March 2019, four employees each made personal copies of classified documents before leaving their Tesla jobs. The smoking gun came on March 12, 2019, when one of the employees accidentally emailed a copy from his new Zooks email account that a disabled Tesla account of one of his former Tesla co-workers. Tesla found out that it was a lightly modified version of a confidential Tesla document now bearing a Zooks logo. The layout and structure of the Tesla and Zooks versions are nearly identical, Tesla's lawsuit said. Indeed, Zooks left at least one reference to another proprietary Tesla document. But now the case is over, according to a court filing. Zooks acknowledges that certain of its new hires from Tesla were in possession of Tesla documents pertaining to shipping, receiving, and warehouse procedures when they joined Zooks's logistics team, Zooks said in testimony to Reuters. Zooks says it will pay Tesla an undisclosed sum. Tesla will also get a chance to audit Zooks and confirm that the employees no longer possess confidential Tesla documents. To bring down a man like Elon Musk and companies like Tesla and SpaceX, they need to work legally and effortlessly. Although we are interested to see where all of this goes and what happens in the future. Well, apart from our expectations and opinions, what do you think about the seeds Bezos is planting? Let us know in the comments below. And most importantly, if you like this video, then hit the like button, subscribe and click the bell icon to get a notification every time we make a new video about the latest trends in Tesla stocks. See you in the next one. Until then, peace.